Anthony Martin Horn was born on September 5, 1925 in Newark, Ohio. He went to 12 years of school before joining the Navy. In fact, he was still a senior in high school when he enlisted in the Navy in 1943. Since about half of the boys in his class were joining the service, the school decided to give them their diplomas before they left. His training was very short, the reason being that the United States needed as many men as possible to join the fight. The training took place in Sampson, New York, and this training, which was supposed to be a two-year course, was completed in six months. His training was very simple. Most of the time, he would just sit around because of his position. Once on the USS Kakapon, a fleet tanker, Mr. Horn became the tailor on board because the original tailor had gotten sick and went home. This turned out great for Mr. Horn. He now had his own private room filled with supplies, all because he was the ship's tailor. Since Mr. Horn was the ship's only tailor, he was treated very well. He also received free haircuts, shaves, massages, and laundry for his tailoring. Not to mention that he also received the food that the officers ate. So overall, Tony was treated well aboard the USS Cockapon. And then I, uh, I eventually took over the tailor shop because the tailor that we had on board got sick and was sent home. So my boss's mate <coughs> enlisted me to, to become the tailor, which turned out great because Turned out I had my own private room and everything, so, and uh, I did uh, I did the guys tailoring that way. That way I got all my laundry done for nothing, and I got my hair cuts and sh shaves and and massages and all that kind of stuff. So <laughs> it really turned out great. I had a racket. Mr. Horn also served some time on a minesweeper, the USS Peregrine. He served on the ship for the same reason. The fire control man on the minesweeper got sick and was sent home. So, Mr. Horn went on the minesweeper and was on it until he had successfully trained a replacement which took about four months. Then, he went back onto the tanker. For one stretch, he was out at sea for 18 months without leaving the ship. This was so because while at sea, a ship would come along and refuel them so their ship could continue to supply aircraft carriers and other ships with fuel. However, Mr. Horn enjoyed the 18 mo months because he never got seasick, and he always had fresh food and whatever he needed. And I also served a little bit of time on a minesweeper. Uh, the gentleman they had on the, on the minesweeper at the time, uh, the, doing the job I was doing on the on the tanker, he got sick, so they sent me over there for to train somebody, which which is only about four months. It took me about four months till I had somebody trained to take over that job. Then I went back to the tanker. In Mr. Horn's case, his ship would be at the battle sites before the battles occurred. The reason being, his ship refueled all the ships that went into battle, so his ship was there to make sure that all the ships were completely refueled. Also, when the ships were low on fuel during the battle, they just came out to Mr. Horn's ship to be refueled again. Mr. Horn also saw many beautiful places during his time in the Navy. Because he was placed in the Pacific, he got to see many gorgeous islands. However, he only ever got to get off and see most of two island areas. The isl these islands were Hawaii and the Marshall Islands. Mr. Horn described the islands by saying, a beautiful place. They had the most beautiful water there, clear as a whistle. Seemed like you could see forever down the water. Nothing but coral. Beautiful coral and fish. Beautiful fish. Mr. Horn also saw glimpses of certain islands when he was assigned to get the mail. What did you see in the Pacific Islands, like the terrain and the weather? Oh, the Pacific Islands are beautiful. I mean, what I saw, the only one I, I only I only got a, uh, off uh, at two islands. I got off in Hawaii for a while, a couple of days, which was a beautiful place. And then I also got off in uh, the Marshall Islands after the after the battle was over. And uh, they had the most beautiful water there, clear as it was. You could, 
it seemed like you could see forever down down the water. It had nothing but coral, beautiful coral and and uh, fish, beautiful fish. Mr. Horn's ship traveled in a convoy system to protect his ship. The Navy did this by protecting the fleet tankers with destroyers. The convoy could have up to 25 ships altogether. The ship he was on was always loaded with fuel. If hit, the ship would easily explode and sink because of all the fuel on board. This happened to Mr. Horn's sister ship. This ship was hit by a small one-man submarine, and in minutes, the ship exploded and sunk, killing most of the crew on board. Then, the crew of Mr. Horn's ship had to go and clean up the scene of the disaster. Mr. Horn said that it was not a sight that should be seen by anyone. But because of the, because of the protection we had with the destroyers, uh, only one ever got close to us. Uh, and then uh, our sister ship that we traveled with, uh, they were torpedoed by one of those small uh, one-man submarines, I guess you'd call them. They were actually just man torpedoes is what they really were. Uh, they were they were hit twice with one of with one of those, and uh, and it was, they sank it within. Oh my! It just seemed like minutes. They they sank. Well, it was more than minutes, I'd say maybe an hour at the most. So they lost most of their men. They lost most of their men and uh, because they had about three or four explosions on board. They were, they were, had just, re they had just loaded up with fuel, aviation fuel, which we carried to, uh, supply the small carriers that, that went with the convoys. And uh, it, it was, we couldn't see it, but we could hear it. And we could, we, we saw the, we, we saw the uh, flames go up in the air and stuff like that, but it was pretty bad. And then we had a, we had to uh, hang around for a couple of weeks to pick up the dead bodies and so forth. Your family during the war. During the war. Yeah. How did you stay in contact with them? Did you send them well, letters? Well, the only weren't friends I had were the ones on board ship, so you know, so it was easy to stay in contact with them. We weren't going anywhere. Oh, great! In fact, well, when the when the war actually ended, we were on our way back to the states then already, because uh, they they were no longer. Uh, shelling any islands or anything like that. So. What career, when the war was over, when you went home, what career did you go into? Well, I, I went to work right away. I didn't, I didn't even collect one unemployment check. I went to work as soon as I got home. I went back to the job I had, which was a, in a, grocery, a large grocery store called Food Fair. When Mr. Horn returned from his service in the U.S. Navy, he was well received by everyone back home. There were many parades in honor of the veterans when they returned home to Pennsylvania. Later in life, Mr. Horn's son would serve in the Vietnam conflict, and when the veterans from Vietnam returned, they were not treated very well at all. After coming home, Mr. Horn worked for 45 years at a grocery store and in the printing business before retiring in 1991. Upon looking back at his service, Mr. Horn believes that it affected his life in a very positive way. He would not have gone to college because he could not afford it. When he looks back at the war, he didn't learn any life lessons. He did not get involved in politics. Mr. Horn just believes that he followed his orders to the best of his ability and that anyone could have done it as well as he did. Mr. Horn believes the Veterans History Project is a great way to get the future generations of this country interested in the past, specifically World War II. He considers World War II to change the meaning of the country by bringing all the men, women, and children together. Mr. Horn greatly appreciates the Veterans History Project.
for what it has done to me memorialize the veterans of World War II. He was married 59 years and had four boys, one of which went into the Navy during the Vietnam War. We would like to thank Mr. Horn for his service.